We hold these truths to be self-evident. Jefferson wrote that all men are created equal, except for the 140 slaves on his plantation. Of course. Are you considering voting for Jefferson in the upcoming presidential election? Well, if you are, then you'll be wasting your vote on the biggest hypocrite in all of America. Jefferson does not care about the country. He hates taxation and disapproves of a national bank that would help regulate the country's economy. Makes sense, though, as without taxation, our national bank will be penniless and empty. Our government will be a failure, just like Jefferson's marriage. Jefferson also wants to lower tariffs. In order for agriculture to be the best economic engine for America, do you really want these people in charge of our economy? Jefferson will prevent our country from growing if he became president. With a small central government, our country will never be able to expand and become the strong nation it has the great potential of being. We will be the laughingstock of Britain. Is this what you really want? How many cigarettes have you got on? Jefferson wants our people's money to the French. He supports this revolution in France. The French are already a developed country and can handle themselves. Now, parents, please cover your children's ears. Jefferson is a filthy, filthy man. Here's a picture of Jefferson's mistress, Sally Hemings, who he started sleeping with when she was 14. I'm Chris Hansen, and this is an investigation called Hansen vs. Predator. You would think that he would give special privileges and gifts to his secret lover. Actually, she is his slave. Not only is she his slave, she's also speculated to be his wife's half sister. Yeah, sorry to break it to you, Martha. Your dad and your husband are sleeping with the same family of slaves. Oh, and your husband also has six kids with Sally that he forgot to tell you about. When it comes to one-year-old Harriet Hemings Jefferson, you are the father. Jefferson enslaved his lover and his own children, what will he do to the beloved citizens of this country? I don't want to find out, neither do you. But good thing we don't have to find out, as long as you vote Alexander Hamilton for president. Hamilton is the hero of this country and its economy. He is the brilliant mind behind our country's new economic policies, promising to cover state debt and increase their credit. He wants to have a strong government that's just as strong as he is.